couple days and thought I might FaceTime it for you guys. Um, Facebook Live. I have a new portal and that's what I'm going to use. So I don't know how it's going to work. Normally I have Crystal video me, but she's at home. Uh, Self-distancing. Social distancing? Yeah, she's cleaning out her house is what she's doing. And I'm going to do a rib. Hi, babe. So I already have her all bathed out and brushed and I did all the things she doesn't like like her nails and her pads and everything already and I do her head and the rest of her flat work and uh, I'm gonna put her in a pet trim so I'm gonna do a snap-on comb and uh, yes Allison I'm good thank you <laughs> thank you I hope you guys are good too I know I'm sure everybody <coughs> saw my rant on Facebook but I just couldn't I'm so tired of uh, just everybody arguing and fighting and telling me how they're so afraid, like, I'm not afraid, you know, we're all afraid. This is like a new world for us, man. I don't want to uh, wake up one day, though, and not, and not have somebody here because I decided that growing a client's dog was more important than staying at home. You know, I mean, it's kind of rare that like the whole country has it, but us New Englanders and a Floridian, we all had to stay in our houses for a week at, at a time for different reasons, whether it be a hurricane or tornado or nor'easter. You know? So it's going to be a little bit longer this time. So I'm telling you people to pace yourself. Okay, pace yourselves. I want to get all that stuff done the first week. What am I gonna do? All right. I mean, I do have six dogs, so I feel like I'll be good for a while. We did do a little video with Marlo yesterday on bathing and fluffing. But then I got tired and didn't edit it, so hopefully I'll uh, get a chance to do that. Honestly, I spent most of the day on the phone with the banks trying to see if I could defer some of my payments for the next month or two so I wouldn't have to worry. Because even though it looks like the stimulus package is going to go through, that doesn't mean we're going to get money to pay our bills in the next five or six days, you know? So, some of us have already been out of work for a week. My um, my girls and I decided on Friday that we would uh, we would close. So we we chose to do that before the governor gave us an order to close. Oh look, I even put the table the right way. Normally I have it this way, but I wanted you guys to be able to see, so I turned it. Um, it's my great table that spins. I got it out of Crystal's van um, last year, oh, almost two years now, when she was in an accident and got a new van. I got to get her old table, so I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty excited. Oh, yeah, so today I, what did I start with? Well, I started with unemployment. Because I incorporated, jeez, hmm, over 10 years ago now. So I am an employee of my corporation, Ron and I both. And we uh, get a paycheck. So when I call payroll in every Saturday at the end of the week, I call myself and Ron and payroll. And honestly, I didn't really do it. 
for like the legal protections you get. And because I was lazy and didn't want to have to remember to pay my own taxes, it was just easier. You know, I write myself a check, it gets deposited in my bank like everybody else, they take out my taxes, I don't have to worry about it. Well, lucky for me, it comes in handy because now I can collect too. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know how much I was collecting. $160. I know. Hold yourselves back, people. I uh, obviously don't call in what I actually groom, you know. I um, you know, call myself in a couple hundred dollars a week so that I have some cash and I can pay my bills, but most everything stays in the business. Um, my business does rent from me, so that's how I pay part of my mortgage is from that. But I, uh, being a corporate officer, had to send in all this extra paperwork to prove that I actually work for the company. That's what I did today. And then I made sure that all my employees had gone on and done all their paperwork and helped them. Then I decided I was gonna call the banks, see what I could do. I will say Bank of America was really good. They, um, right on their, right on their website, if you have a credit card from Bank of America, there's a little link to go on there and you can defer two months of credit card payments. Um, you just click the link and it's automatic. So now they were doing March and April. And I, of course, I'd already paid March because I pay my bills on time. So they said they would do April and May for me, which is awesome. And then I called the mortgage company and talked to them. And they said that they would do April and May. Again, I didn't even have to talk to them. This was on their online, you know, when you call and they're like, hey, can we help you? Push button number six automatically they were going to do wave late fees. So that's a little different than what the credit cards were doing. Um, credit card companies were actually like letting you skip two months. The mortgage company <clears throat> wasn't actually letting me skip, but they wouldn't charge me a late fee. So that was, um, that was a plus. So that's a, a relief right there. And if I can pay partial payments, I will. And then bought a new car this year. I know, what was I thinking? Just all frivolous, spending money left and right. But I um, bought a new electric car and I love it to death. It's a little Chevy Bolt and my son, hey Chris, got it for me at auction and I love it to death. So I have a, a car loan and I called them. That took the longest. Hey Kristen, I was online with them for over an hour for them to, <laughs> them to tell me they would defer my payments two months till the end. Um, and he assured me that if I recovered in two weeks and was able to make my payments on time, that would be fine. And if I didn't, I needed to extend those two months, but that would be fine too. So that was kind of awesome. And went on to went on American Express and I have a Chase card too. I don't know, you think I have a lot of credit cards, but I don't really. You know, I have my Amazon card I like to order just my online stuff with. Um, they didn't have anything listed yet. And American Express, I couldn't get through to. Um, there was nothing on their website yet, but I just couldn't get through to them. Get all those things. What else? Oh, oh then I washed red. Huh? See, I'm too happy about that. I tried to stay off the internet today. I tried not to rant and rave too much. Um, this is a Oster 3000i. You see that? It um is cordless. I also have the Volt too, which I really like. And um, 
This one's a little bit more powerful, so I, I tend to use this one a little bit more than the um, than the Volt. My girls use the Volt a lot. <coughs> right now, I know you're such a good girl. Right now, I'm just getting her flat work done. I did her ears, the side of her cheeks, the top of her head. And I could do the head with a seven or a five. I actually have a five blade on here now. Huh. Oh yeah, so we're starting off the internet pretty much today. I thought, um, I thought my rant yesterday was enough. And then some really great local drummers were on there defending me, which was really nice because I was saying that I was worried about paying my bills and, you know, that I've been in business batteries going to that I've been in business for 25 years and this girl was like oh 25 years and you don't have any money saved of course I have money saved people do I look like an idiot no but do I want to pay my mortgage payment if I can get it deferred yes I want to get it deferred I want to hold on to that cash as long as I can just like everybody else you know I did um not pay the light bill for next month though they figure they won't shut me off, you know, at least not right away. And I have a generator, so it'll be fine. Well, I'm trying to think of things, Ooh, this thing sounds terrible. I'm trying to think of things I could do to, um, to save money. You know, it's um, not like a big frivolous spender. I mean, I have to say no dog shows. That's going to save me a lot of money right there. Well, I miss dog shows. I miss grooming shows. I miss people. You guys miss people? Yeah, I miss people. Well, only a little bit. You know. Oh, so this girl was like, how how can your how can you have no money? And I was like telling her that like <laughs> the mortgage on my building is like close to four thousand dollars and you know, between the lights and everything. I mean, it's no trick, no no secret, people. I posted it, you know. It's like five grand a month just for the, the building, the lights, gas, and phone. That doesn't count my water, my sewer, my insurance. I mean, I'm preaching to the choir. You guys all have the same bills. But anyway, <clears throat> she couldn't understand why it was so much, and... Part of it, I think, was that she's from Ohio, and, you know, the cost of living is a little different. I'm in Boston, and, or really just outside, about 20 minutes outside. And I don't live in a big, luxurious house. I live in an average home, just like everybody else does. And um, it's just expensive to live in this part of the country, you know? I know a couple of you, I know Allison's on here. She just opened her salon in Situate, which is a really... Really close to the water, the closer to the water we get, the more it costs. So, you know, that's kind of be nice to her. I didn't take it as her being snitty. Um, maybe I did a little bit at first, but I um, decided to be nicer, kinder, gentler me today. How am I doing, guys? Am I doing good? Being kinder, gentler? Yeah? All right. I'm trying. All right. So... I've done all her clipper work. I did her bone before we started because I um, don't really like that. I'm going to take a two comb. And I do all her flat work. And come all the way down. And she's acting like it's a thousand degrees in my salon, but it's not. Thank you, Red. Oh, I know. This is old, guys. Yeah, let's turn mine. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know she's nine, though. I'm not a clue in the world. What did you 
guys all do today? Do you find productive things to do? <clears throat> Some of you are only a couple days in. I know um, we didn't get the call in Massachusetts until actually Tuesday to close. <laughs> so Monday afternoon, I'm out here and I'm calling clients and I'm trying to reschedule for the next two weeks, you know, make sure everybody knows. And people are like, well, can I come now? And I was like, no, you can't come now. It, it's going to take me the rest of the afternoon just to reschedule people and get stuff done. And, you know, make sure that I was all set and my family was all set, you know. We're fine, by the way. We have lots of water and food and gas and electric and Crystal's fine. She's home with Kevin and my Chris, who, thank God he's not on Facebook because he has no idea that I posted him and his girlfriend's picture up there in my profile, but... Um, they're having a baby, and I'm so happy. Um, so, they're home. Kayla. It's uh, feeling a little sick. So she had actually called out maybe a few days before we got the call. She works at a, she's a preschool, nursery school teacher, and she, I was kind of worried, so I, basically nagged her until she called in. And then Chris works for a car dealership and they were um, not sure if they were gonna stay open or if they were gonna close. And I was like so nervous that he was gonna bring something home. I was like, you know, you would think, <laughs> at least I would have thought that it would have been slow and that he was just sitting around his office doing nothing and he, he called me on Monday or Tuesday, and he was like, Mom, there's like 70 people in this building. I was like, 70 people? I was like, the governor said 25. You need to go in your office right now. He's like, I'm in my office. So that caused me a little bit of anxiety. So that might have been half of why I was all locked up last week about you guys wanting to go to work when I had people who would have given anything to stay home. Ronnie's son. Um, Ronnie's sister Diane, the ER nurse, and I'm sure that her family would love it if she was able to stay home. Um, instead, she goes to work every day and takes care of people who are sick. And she said, you know, it's getting kind of scary. She said, the first couple of days it wasn't too, too bad, and then um, so the numbers are just Climb it up. You know, more and more people are getting sick. My brother in law works for the T and he um, was retiring this year. Apparently, he uh, was supposed to retire on Wednesday. <laughs> like, lucky for him, right? And it's on my table a little. So he, um, he stopped working Monday too, but he was nervous. You know, we have a uh, a lot of Chris's and Crystal's friends are in the service, and you know, I just know so many people who don't get the opportunity to stay home and hear rumors are, you know, risking for a bath. You know, these people are risking their lives for other human beings. So think about it, people. You know, think about it. I will say, you know, Ron's one of those. People who think it's ridiculous and thinks we should be able to work, he doesn't understand. I don't know that for him it has anything to do with what he thinks we're um, essential or more important than, than anybody else. I think he just wants to go to work. The guy's kind of a workaholic. And, um, you know, today, today I went upstairs and he was sleeping on the couch and I was like, oh my God, are you okay? And he was like, yeah. I'm just bored. And I was like, oh my God, I was so, so afraid he was sick, you know, like, like that. And then we hear, you know, we heard that um, the groomer in Illinois who gets sick and passed away. And um, 
talked to a couple other groomers on Facebook who know people or work next to people or in contact with people. They were sick and they're hey, all nervous and it's just time, you know, just time. As I ramble on, if anybody has any questions, feel free to post them and I'll try to keep an eye on the screen and answer them if I can. We can talk about anything too. We don't have to talk about carry doors, whatever you guys want. So, not as much fun as watching Nadia drink wine and put a cabinet together, but it's what I got for you today. Alright, I'm a fat girl. I'm going to take an A comb. And I'm going to take some of her body coat off because she's, uh, she's a little chunky now. Huh, I know. I don't look at me like that. You're the one that eats everything. The last time she got groomed was actually by Kyle when we went down to Jelly Mooches and um, get our curly coat sent off. So it's kind of wild. I keep catching. So we're going to fade over the summer. It's a little chunky now. Easy. And we'll pick up our leg. Clean up all underneath here. Easy. Let's go. I did do her nails too because she gives me not like her nails done. Shocker, right, people? I don't know. Who would have thought a carry blue that doesn't like their nails done? So how do you guys like this portal? Is it good? Is the phone would be good? Yeah, can you hear me okay? Can you see okay? You can't really um, you can't really bring it closer or further because it just automatically like zooms in and follows you, so a little different. Tipping portal will turn me into one of their commercials. That would be awesome. 